drugs at home. So there's parents who do drugs at home in front of their youths. When I say doing drugs, I don't mean man are stringing up and you get me injecting in their fucking neck and then injecting in their arms and that. But just burning weed. Well, that's, that's bad enough. It's not that they're smoking weed because what's the difference really between smoking weed and smoking tobacco, i.e. cigarette or roller? You're still smoking in that. But what, what you're showing your you is it's all right to break the law and do drugs and do... Me, I ain't the type of man who oh, follow what the government's saying, that, innit? but if you're doing something that could get you nicked, well, maybe you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah? Because you wouldn't be doing that in front of no police officer. So it's not the fact that they're smoking, it's the fact that they're showing their use, oh, yeah, it's all right to do this. It, no, it's not all right. It's not all right. You shouldn't be smoking drugs, full stop. You shouldn't be smoking drugs in front of your use. Yeah, you're setting a bad example. Then you've got parents who do drugs with their kids or say to their kids, if you're going to do drugs, do drugs at home. I've seen parents on TV say, oh, I don't want my kids, if I make my kids do drugs in the house. And the host of the TV program has said, why would the fuck would you let your child do drugs in the house so that they don't do it out on the street and get picked up by the police? Are you fucking stupid? No, if you're going to do drugs, you ain't doing no drugs in my presence. You ain't doing no drugs in my facility. You better do that shit outside and you better get nicked for it as well. Yeah. You ain't doing it. There's some dumb parents, like there's dumb parents out here who say, oh, I'll give, I'll give my drug, my, my, my child weed because I don't want him to go out and commit crimes to get weed. What? Fam, are you stupid, bloody? You re so you're really going to give your child weed and drugs and whatever, 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 innit? so that they don't go out and commit crimes to get those drugs? You're going mad. You're going mad. You're going mad. Then there's parents who sell drugs from their house. So if burning weed in front of your youth wasn't bad enough, if giving weed to your child so they don't go out and commit crimes to get weed wasn't bad enough, there's parents who sell drugs from their house in front of their youth. So not only is you setting a bad example of smoking the drugs, you're actually teaching them how to sell drugs. Because <laughs> kids are a lot smarter than what people think, you know. They'll just sit and watch and, oh, okay, that's how it happens. All right, boom. Like, they, they, they will know how much an ace weighs. They will know how much uh, an ounce weighs. Not because you showed them, just listening to conversations. Oh, yeah, yeah, 28 grams is an ounce. And, oh, seven grams is a Q in that. Like, or, or, or eights is 3.5 and that, like, yeah. or tens is 1.4 and that, like, they, they all just know. They will not, oh, nine bars at nine ounces. Oh, a key, that's a box, yeah? That's a kilogram of, you understand? Oh, they, they don't know how much a key weight, uh, how much a key costs. Just, just by overhearing conversations and that, just, just watching them. I've got, I've been to parents' yards. You go in the kitchen and there ain't, tomatoes and butter and bread on the fucking work surface. No, there's cannabis grinders, there's scales and there's weed on the fucking kitchen worktop. These are the yards that man's gone to, you know. Most normal kitchens you go to, they're probably going to be messy because people got, yeah, I'm a minimalist, so my kitchen is basically empty as much as it can be. Most normal houses you go to, the kitchen's got stuff and bits and pieces on the countertop, the worktop. Microwave, kettle, couple dirty dishes and that. Yeah. Butter, yeah, butter and bread and fruits and tomatoes and that. Some people's houses, they got that, plus they got the weed grinder. They got the scales with a bit of, look a bit of weed residue and then they got a couple sealer bags with food with weed in it. Trust me, bro. This is why a man can talk. Man been around the block, you know. Yeah, this is why a man can talk. Been around the block. Yeah, literally been around the block. Man seen a lot. Seen a lot. Done a lot. I know people who don't know man personally might think, oh, trust me, man. Man seen a lot. Man done a lot. Seen a lot. Man know. Yeah. Then, okay, so we've got the parents who sell drugs from home, then a step further than that, 
There's parents who give their, their, their child, their children, drugs to sell. I've seen, I've seen exchanges. I've seen exchanges. I've seen men give their son weed to sell. Or his son, or, or his son is buying weed from him. Just like a normal dealer, but he might give him a discount. <laughs> you know the mates rates? Well, his family rates. Literally, I've seen a man sell an ounce of weed to his fucking son. Or sell a cube of weed to his son. And then his son has gone on to sell crack cocaine and heroin and got nicked for it. And then his dad don't understand why he's selling crack cocaine and heroin. You know why? Because young people are very ambitious and young people will take greater risks than older people because young people are stupid. Now, I'm not saying that the man who's selling weed ain't stupid and ain't doubly stupid for selling weed to his son, but young people are dumb. Young people will take risks that they shouldn't take. And young people will say, you know what, fuck selling weed. I'm going to sell crack and heroin. Come up. I think I'm a bad boy. And then get nicked for it as well. And then the parents wonder, why, why, why is my son in jail for selling crack and heroin? Who did he learn this from? Because he learned it from me because I'm just a weed seller. No, he learned it from me, but he just took it to another level. That's what it was. And then one of the worst ones is pregnant crack, crack addicts. Now, I ain't going to talk too much. You can go and watch my video. It's called um, my live stream. Sorry. Trapping in OT ain't worth it. Man told a long ass story when man went up uh, Norwich and went, you get me, doing what I was doing up there. Go and check out that live stream. Um, fuck it, I'll put the live stream in the link in a, in a sec. I'll do it now, innit? But anyway, uh, yeah, get me. I ain't going to talk too much. You have to go and watch the long video. But yeah, there's some crack addicts who are pregnant. And boy, they're coming for their thing. They're coming for their fix. And boy, all I'm going to say is I ain't no saint. I'm going to throw my hands up here and say I ain't no saint. And all I'm going to say is a certain man, they're going to do that. And you can fill in the blanks and you can make your assumptions all you want. That's all man's going to say. Go and watch the live stream. I'm going to get the live stream up here now. I'm going to plug it in. in, in. But imagine, imagine being a crack addict. But you got a baby growing inside of you. Like, you are one of the most selfish pieces of shit on this earth to. And you know what? The man who sells the drugs to the person is just as bad as well. I'm going to throw my hands up there and say that. Yeah, I ain't going to say too much. Go and watch the, the video. That's what I'm saying. But you are one selfish piece of shit to. I have a baby growing inside of you, but you know what? I'm going to do crack and heroin. Please believe, you know, like all these, these youths that grow up in care homes and that, a lot of their parents are crack addicts. That's, that's, that's why. Because as soon as the social, I told you, them social workers, them, them, they're like the police of, the, of, 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 of the, the child safety world. If they go to a yard and don't say that the parents are doing drugs, especially like hard drugs, crack and heroin, that youth's gone. Gone because they know what crack addicts and hearing addicts they they would allow someone to be, abuse their child for the sake of a hit. I'm telling you, some of them will get that that desperate. They would allow it. Someone to 